seek not to be served, but to serve the brothers and sisters, grant we pray, that we may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. We praise and thank you. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. The word of the Lord. Let's take responsorial psalm from page 23, 2, 3. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the
Today we are remembering the priestly ordination of Venerable Stephen Ferrando and his arrival to our land as a missionary hundred years back. This centenary that you daughters of Stephen Ferrando are celebrating speaks us about your gratitude to God for the gift of this wonderful person who has influence and be part of your lives. It is the best thing that you can do to honor and pay homage to your founder. Archbishop Stephen Ferrando lived from 1895 to 1978, about 83 years here on earth. He was very much influenced by the Silesian as a boy. He joined First World War as a youth, but after the war, he joined the Silesian. He came to a land as a missionary. He was novice master and then was appointed bishop. We can pick up a few lessons from his life experiences as a person. Stephen Ferrando was brought up in a good Catholic environment. A positive environment will ensure production of good people. Therefore, our effort to live good life will give positive vibration to people around us. This is where missionary life plays as a role model to influence children and the youth positively. When we do so, we become instruments in God's hand because we ourselves are being influenced by the Spirit of the Lord. One good person brings blessing to a thousand. As the prophet Isaiah speaks today in the first reading, the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up to the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to release to the prisoners, to comfort all women. As a consecrated people of God, let us vibrate positively around us through our words and actions which bring peace and growth. It is in fact that among consecrated people like us here today, we will not hurt each other. We should not nurture hatred, partiality, division, prejudices, and injustice. Instead, we should promote love and compassion. How can we claim to be God's instruments if we give negative vibration to those around us? Let us become instead the instruments of healing to others, respect and true spiritual freedom to others. Stephen Ferrando, in spite of having joined the army during the First World War, he persevered in the call to the priesthood. I'm sure he had a firm conviction that it was a call to serve God by serving people. In his youth, he might have been inspired with a zeal for souls. As St. Paul put it in the second reading of today, 2 Timothy 4, 1-5, in view of his appearing, that is, Jesus Christ appeared to him, and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you to proclaim the message. Be persistent, whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, with the utmost patience in teaching. St. Paul continues to remind us to put up with the sound doctrine. In other words, we are called to be truthful, and faithful to God and ourselves. To speak the truth, not to lie. To know the teachings of the church and teach others the same. To shun from selfishness and evil acts. Not to be like those teachers who to suit their own desires and will turn away from listening to the truth in the second reading of today. The word of God instructs us to be sober, Endure suffering and carry out your ministry faithfully. Let us let 
God be the center of our consecrated lives always, as reminded by St. Paul. The example of missionary spirit in Bishop Stephen Ferrando. A missionary understand that he or she is sent for a mission of Christ to build the kingdom of God and to do the will of God, never his or her own will. In the gospel today, Jesus said, go into the whole world, proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Your congregation almost sent the whole world. Here is a challenge for all of us. They are consecrated people, but instead of doing the will of God, we are tempted sometimes to do our own will. Instead of building the kingdom of God, we are tempted to build our own kingdom. Instead of carrying the cross of Christ, we are tempted to hide into our own comfort zones. Instead of being messenger of good news, we may become the cause of suffering for others which is contrary to the true spirit of a missionary. Let us be cautious and alert and be alert lest we miss the true meaning of our consecrated life and missionary lives. The purpose of our life is to bring salvation to ourselves and to others, to be a channel of grace to those who work with us and to those whom we serve. To be a missionary genuinely said, Jesus said, Sign will accompany those who believe. Each one of us has different mission. We have different talents, abilities, different areas of ministry, yet the same Lord and Master. A missionary we are called to love God with all our hearts and to love one another and to work hard and to be positive and all our lives, to avoid all the negative influences Long live and messy sisters. May God bless all of us that we may positively witness the gospel of Christ, that we may become a blessing to each other for the glory of God and the salvation of all. May Venerable Stephen Ferrando and may Madame Berry help our Christians pray and intercede from heaven for all of us here. Let us all arise. We'll have the prayer of the faithful at this moment. Fathers, celebrating this holy mass, that they may experience the joy and contentment of sharing Christ's life as a priest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the canonization of our beloved founder, Venerable Stephen Ferrando, that the Lord who chose him to make him known to the people of our land may reward 
reward him with the crown of a saint according to his divine will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Mother General, Reverend Sister Philomena Matthew and her counselors, Sister Maria Goretti Di Sangma, a provincial superior, and her counselors, that they may draw inner strength necessary to lead the congregation along the path of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Salutians of Don Bosco, that they may always be faithful to the charism and spirit given to them by Don Bosco, and for the Salutian sisters, who also celebrate the centenary of their arrival to Northeast, that they may continue to carry out their mission entrusted to them with love and enthusiasm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the WSC, YSC, past pupils, benefactors, and well-wishers of our congregation, that the Lord may bless and reward them for their generosity and services rendered to the congregation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present here, that we may live and cherish the good things we have learned and insights we have received from the life of Bishop Stephen Ferrando these three days of our stay here. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the success of tomorrow function, Eucharistic procession in Shillong Artesis, combined with Jawai and Nostein. That the Lord will bless all the laity, the faithful, the priests, the religious. There are three bishops who join together tomorrow, and also Nuncio is still on the way to our land. That the Lord will bless all of them, and bless all the faithful that they may be transformed with deep faith, hope, and love. That the Lord will bless and give us peace in the world and country India, the state of Mekalaya, especially in our land. And that the Lord will bless each one of us today. For this grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, accept our prayer and petitions that we ask from you with deep faith and trust. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Page 33, double three.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet, and so set us an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service, and grant that offerings ourselves as spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with the spirit of humility and seal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift spirit. up your hearts. Let us Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us and the festival of Venerable Stephen Ferrando, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of the angels and the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. <laughs> 